Well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Oh man, I took a bit of a break after trying to record this last time because I got owned by the old record for about an hour and a half and then uh, realized at the end of it that you didn't push the record button. Yeah. So. Yeah. I made it to where... So, I waited a little while so that I would, you know, forget what happened, basically. And not be disinterested, since I already knew what was going on. And thankfully I didn't save over where I was before the last recording had cut off. So, I don't really remember what the deal is now. Besides, I remember being super worried that I wasn't going to make rent. Ah, Jill, I'm out to get firecrackers. Firecrackers? It's New Year's, right? We need some. Wouldn't firecrackers scare off the dog? Oh yeah, good idea. Go ahead. Was she going to say dogs? I'll be back in a bit. Even for a cat lover, you sure get excited about firecrackers a whole lot more when dogs are involved. I know how hypocritical it sounds, and I don't care. Ah, Jamie's here. Greetings. Anyway, let's start. Alright. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Ah, the guy that wouldn't come back twice. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Oh, hey, it's Ingram. By any chance, did something fly over here two weeks ago? On Friday? Yes. There were lots of weird explosion noises throughout the night. But as far as I understand, those were made by a flying drone or something like that. So it flew by here. I take it you know what made the noise? Let's just keep it at whatever drone story you heard. Right. Though the noise got annoying after a while. I must say. So it remained in the vicinity? I don't know what counts as in the vicinity, but yeah, we could hear it for a long time. Distant explosions all night. Interesting, so it didn't get that far. Didn't get far away. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Now get me a Mars Blast. Oh yeah, because I'm trying to save money. She gets all distracted and stuff. Alright, six Bronson Extract. Four, five, six, one Powder Delta. Four Flannergide. Two Carmotrine. I'm gonna blend that. Alright. Alright. Here you go. Well, you didn't mess up. Thanks. Sorry if I may interject. You looking for a fight? Dude, don't... Don't... Uh, Jamie will mess your world up. Well, certainly not. You really think you stand a chance? You're like half his size. I can fight dirty. He kills people for a living. I can fight dirty. Okay, I respect that a little bit. Jill, please, you make it, me sound like a savage. It would be like me saying that you get people drunk for a living. It's not wrong, but there are better ways of saying stuff like that. You're right. Sorry. And like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem to like strong drinks. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight in this bar. I'd even come to believe I'm the only one here who enjoys them, aside from the owner. May I suggest you try a suplex next time? It might be to your liking. Hmm. Okay, let's try this suplex thing. Right. Vertical or German? and mixed. Alright, suplex. Here. Good stuff. Like a less burning but punchier pile driver. Say, your face looks somehow familiar, mister. Call me Jamie, and you are... I'm Ingram. Anyway, I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe when I need to look for a specific file, it... Did you perhaps go through a nanomachine expunge? I did, actually. 
figured as much, only a handful of people do that. And almost all of them are people with nanomachine rejection that feel oddly suicidal. So why go through the whole thing? Rejection? Need to hide something? The second one. It's easier to remain undetected when they have no means to track your activity. I see. How does the expunge work? Oh yeah, I remember this. You lie in a pressure chamber and they give you a special IV solution. It causes the nanomachine rejection while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent from getting them from getting back in. For five hours you're trapped inside a bed while horrible pressure builds up in your body and nanomachines are forced out. Ugh. That sounds not fun. They're like little needles all over your body. You feel them in your eyes and your gums and your toes everywhere. Ew. And after all that, they need to implant you with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Ouch. No joke, not fun. What are you having, Jamie? This is a gut punch. Yeah, I should have figured. Hey, give me one of those. Sure. Oh, I can remember that song's lyrics. It's okay, Jill. You'll, you'll remember eventually. Down, I'll scoot that up. Here. Yeah, I love these. It looks different from yours, though. Oh, I added in a couple extras in his, actually. So where's the antibody unit they stuck you with, Jamie? Inside, like all other maintenance systems. It can be troublesome at times, with the perks of not hand But the perks of not having nano machines in the body outweigh the cons. Okay. And the rest of the enhancements, if you reconstructed or if you've been adding them over time. Over time, either by getting a much needed enhancement fix, enhancement, or through fixing injuries. I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave. Wow, he wasn't a jerk. Please come again. Don't count on it. You said that three times by now. Shut up. <laughs> Seemed like a nice guy. Right. He's slowly worked his way from being total jerk, not quite as big of a jerk, to now he wasn't that bad this time. Maybe you caught him on a bad day? I guess that's possible. Nah, I think you're that good at bringing out the nicer side of people. Oddly enough. That guy tires me out. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood. Alma, give me a bad touch, will you? That way you'll be in a good mood, too. <laughs> All right. Now, if I recall, I managed to make Jill's rent, like by a whisker, when I did this the first time. So I'm just gonna, to the best of my ability, do everything that I was doing before. Hopefully, I remember it right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just doubled up everything, except for Ingram's, because Ingram is a cheapskate and doesn't pay you extra. Ta-da! Here. Jill, you have such a petty sense of humor. Guilty as charged. So what put you in a good mood? Oh yeah, that. Today my sister was supposed to be in court for all the custody proceedings. Of course, not only does she show up later than her husband, and drunk at that, but also dressed like she got screwed in the back of a parking lot. Oh, great. And to top it off, she forgot to even bring her kids. Luckily, my parents brought them to court. The judge assigned my kids to my parent or the kids to the my parents for the time being. So she really messed up, huh? When they came back to the house, Diana. I realized that I've, I'm pretty sure I was calling her Dana before, and that was a mistake because we already have a Dana. That's definitely Diana. Started throwing a temper tantrum. She said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because the angst would make her jump onto a highway. So Eva comes and says, And make sure it kills you because we aren't dealing with you as a cripple. Oh, <laughs> Eva's her kid, isn't it? <laughs> That's messed up. I shouldn't reinforce that behavior, but psh. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was the timing, but I've been laughing for about an hour now. 
You hold quite the animosity for Diana, don't you? She and I used to be the closest friends when I was seven or eight. We played all the time, we slept on the same bed for a while, and she turned into a teen. And then she never grew up after that, huh? We stopped playing, she had other things she wanted to do. I can forgive all of that, I mean the age difference and all. But there is something in particular I still can't forgive. It was the day she invited her friends to the house, and when I went to ask her something, as I was leaving, one of her friends asked if I was her sister, and she said she had little, no little sisters. Ouch, that's not cool. I think that was the moment that finally broke the pedestal I hold, held her on. I admired her as much as a kid could admire someone, you know? Little by little, that admiration wore off, and we finally reached the breaking point, and I felt betrayed. You haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? Hey. It's not that I still hold a grudge against her, but rather... The Diana who said all those things that many, so many years ago is the same Diana that I know today. How so? She hasn't matured one bit. <laughs> She's still as selfish and childish and immature as she was back then. When you see her, you don't see an adult, you see an overgrown teen. So aside from destroying any admiration I held for her, she's made no sure not to fix that impression. Huh. But enough about me, how are you? Everything's fine, aside from this note. A note? Remember how I told you I lashed out at my dead, my dead ex's sister? Yeah. I got this note from her. Let's see. Wow, she must really feel bad about the whole thing. As do I. So what's the problem, then? Same fear that drove me away from her in the first place? Right. Give a brain teeny, will you? There's a little story I want to tell you. Right. I'm a bartender at a bar. Haha. <laughs> okay, brand teeny. Six Adelhide, three powder Delta. So we're gonna go... T Can I even do that? That would make twelve. Yeah, that would, that would still be right. Oh no, I don't want any flanergide. Get out of here. Oh, sweet. There are keyboard shortcuts for this that I never bothered learning. Q is for red, and that's all I got because I don't want to mess anything up after that. And then two caramel tracks. Brand teeny. Here. This is the thing. Let's start. C get out of here, Anna. Boo. Oh no. This is the story of a girl who grew disillusioned with one of her sisters. Soon it became animosity, and not long after that, she distanced herself completely from said sister. With time, the girl would become attached to her eldest sister, looking up to her achievements. Why are you so ridiculous? Not now. The said sister would even marry the girl's best friend not soon after. And after the girl went into college, said sister would quit her job? The sister was worried sick about leaving her baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. What if I hire your high-ranking lips? Get Anna, why? Shut up. The girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went up with everything she held her in high esteem for. She was no longer a child, and yet she felt like a part of her had crumbled. I don't think you can. Alright, enough. Enough? Darn it. Peace out. Er, I mean, I know the girl is you, and I know the sister is your eldest sister. Please get to the point. Right. The point is, if you don't face her, she will become heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you. That must take courage. Lots of it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. My mouth's dry. Can I get a beer? Right. Alrighty. Long beer. Ah, no.
Ta-da! Here. Pranks. So tell me, did you and this Gabby girl get along? Oh yeah. I never had brothers and sisters, but once Lenore introduced me to her as her sister-in-law, she got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. Oh, interesting. I helped her in her study, read studies, read books, read or er, read books with her, played with her a lot. She was she was pretty much my sister too. I have to leave, but I'll tell you this: as both a big and little sister, if you don't grant that girl a chance of talking to you, I'll never forgive you. Jeez. Oh, there's also a small New Year's party set this Saturday if you're interested. Oh, sure, I'll be there. Remember, I won't forgive you. Yeah, yeah. I'll go take my break. Alright. Blah, you were there? You were quite absorbed in the conversation just now. Jamie even said goodbye to you, and didn't you hear? Anyways, call me if anything comes up. Alright, so we're just gonna save over the future there. It's less chilly today. Jill, a kid's looking for you. Oh no. Oh, it's her! Ah, Norma. Phew. You're back. Oh, screw you. You do know I'm not giving you any drinks, right? Ugh, darn it, I said it out loud. Yeah, um, actually, I wanted to thank you. Oh, she thought that was meant for her. Thank me? Well, for starters, by not complying and giving me alcohol. Everything else would have fallen apart if I had some. Aw, oh, so responsible. I kind of faced my mom and told her all about the pressure she was putting on me. And said I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. And? Well, she didn't speak to me for two days. After that, she told me it'd be a waste to spend so much money on university just to tell, just for me not to give it my all. So she told me to still go to college. Of course, but I was free to explore. I'm glad to hear that. And while well, I wanted to thank you for that, me. If I just rushed off headfirst into my original plan, things would have gotten ugly. And you were right, I'd be hurting her for the sake of hurting. Yeah, that wouldn't be cool. So thank you. Don't worry about it. I'll leave before it's too late outside. Be careful. Aw, oh, so sweet. Shut up. Hey Jill, mind helping me out here? Sure. Make a bleeding Jane, please. On it. I don't know if I still get paid for whatever this mystery customer that Gil is doing, but I'm going to uh, double this anyway, just for fun. Six and three plan drive one. One, two, three. Ah, oh, no. Get out of here. Six. Ah! Oh, it's supposed to be blended. I'm stupid. Oh, no. Oh, there goes my bonus. That's annoying. Ta-da! Thanks. Hey, do you hate me? Hate is a harsh word. It's not against you directly, but rather the fact that only I can see you. Like I told you, if they wanted, they could see me. And why can I? You're the main character? I don't know. What are you? Cute girl. Right. You okay, Jill? Making a lot of faces there. Hmm? Yeah. Just remembering stuff. Give me a hand here, serve a beer, please. Sure. How's boss's hair stay like that? Alright, this one's easy enough. Oh no, I almost grabbed another Adele hide. You don't want Adele hide anymore. Six, seven, 
Alright. Ta-da. Beer. Thanks. Would you light enough if I showed you I can interact with the environment? Maybe it'll spook me, but let's try. For a minute, I was looking around the uh, bar, but it's the interface that she messed with. Can't see anything. Are you sure? Yep. Weird. <laughs> Nobody expects the Dorothy Inquisition. <laughs> Dorothy Inquisition, Dorothy Inquisition, Dorothy. Ouch. I bit my tongue. Can't believe I'm using the spare tongue so early in- Oh, get out of here! Man. <laughs> Honey. Oh, hey, Dorothy. I'm making a quick stop for a drink. Can I get a fluffy dream? Sure. Fluffy dream. Alright. 